Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again with another product review kind of update. Okay, so uh, Blue Eddy has a PV200 solar panel, and they have also a Blue Eddy PV200S. And we have been asked many times, what the heck is the difference? So we're going to go through the tail of the tape, if you will, like these are two boxers, and we're going to put them up against each other, and just to see what the difference is. Now, right away, when you look at these panels, there's obvious differences. Let me... Uh, uh, make this bigger here so you can see and we're going to look mainly at the the main picture first now where i get these pictures from guys is i make these for base that's on our promo code and database uh, buy me a coffee page feel free to go there it's totally free you can download these pictures and save them and then you have all this information at your fingertips if you print them out or save them on your phone or your computer or wherever you save them or give them to your friends and uh, th then you don't make the, the mistakes of using maybe the wrong hookups or using the wrong voltage or whatever when you're using these products and uh, we call them cheat sheets and uh, you know that way uh, you, you don't make those expensive mistakes well we made a few mistakes back in the past and we don't ever want to reproduce them so we came up with this idea of the cheat sheets Ho hopefully you guys really enjoy them uh, they're very time consuming to make but uh, like I said we really enjoy uh, helping our, our uh, 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 little community here on uh, Ramley Bob Reviews okay so this is the PB200 now I don't know which one came first uh, let's get them nice and big here and then this is the PB200S now let's look at the visuals right away because that's the easiest way to tell them apart obviously so the 200 has the blue handle that kind of sticks out here it protrudes away from the panel so that way when you carry it um, when you set it down it kind of you know you can't set it on this side otherwise it'll rock on the handle um, but you can fold them both up now the PB200S is actually more slimline and maybe that's what the s stands for i'm not sure that the handle is recessed inside the product and that way you don't have it kind of protruding from the handle like that so when you you know you uh, uh, put it in the trunk or put it away you don't risk having the handle now that's a plus and a minus because some people like the handle we have four of these panels right now that costs us about two thousand dollars worth of product and we, we love them we really do um i don't think i would have mattered or minded having either one but uh, you know, kind of the, the the one you have is the one you like because you're used to it. That's you know, uh, if they want to send me this to test it, I'd be happy to do that. I believe you could put them together. Uh, you can use them in either series or parallel, depending on your configuration. But now we're going to look at the obvious. Okay, so the the handle is different. The color is also different, and the um, let's see, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah. The, uh, if you notice it very closely, if you, if you look real close here, these are called grommets. The little holes that you can basically hang those uh, places that way if, uh, you know, say you have it on the side of the van or on a fence or, you know, wherever. You can, you can hang them anywhere you know, that you could hang uh, like string or anything from or bungees or anything like that. But uh, notice that this one, this does not have the grommets. I'm looking at mine in the office here. And uh, all four of them do not have the grommets, just to verify this picture. And uh, so th that's, uh, let's see, that's one thing is the handle. And then we'll, we'll keep a note here. And then two is the grommets. And then obviously the color. So that's three different variations right away between these two panels, only because we've had so many questions of saying, well, Bob, which one should I get? Which one's better? Which one's not? I think they're literally two different just designs. I think that's it. But let's, you know, let's keep going and see what the difference is here. Okay, so... Right away, I also notice uh, the difference is the leg style and the back of the the, uh, the junction box here is much different than the other uh, uh, solar panel. And how that's different is these legs are not metal, okay? And these ones have actually a, 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 a well, not metal, but they're probably aluminum or stainless steel. Uh, they're uh, non-rusting, I'm assuming. But th uh, notice that these ones, you can kind of just plop them up there, and uh, they're made of that uh, a, a metally kind of ma uh, material, and uh, these are not. Uh, these are adjustable. They have snaps on the back too, where you can put them already designed to uh, I think 45 degrees, 25, and then I think 15, all depending on the uh, the, the style of the uh, atmosphere you you have in for the uh, the conditions. You know, weather, spring, fall. Um, uh, other than that, I don't know if these are adjustable or, or they're just. I, they might slide up and down in here. Uh, where you could have this actually lower or higher. That's a possibility. I don't have one of these, so I don't know other than what I see in the pictures of, of what we saved. Um, let's see what else is the same. In the pretty much the same stuff, guys. 
Um, yep, you get the same stuff other than the panel. So now we're going to look at the tail of the tape. Now this is where the biggest, most important thing is, uh, which is your open circuit voltage and all your power ratings and all that stuff. You have to have that, guys. The, the VOC is the most important thing you're going to find on any of these products. If you don't have uh, that number, I don't recommend hooking up anything until you learn that part of the system, okay? So, uh, max power obviously is 200 watts each. They're made of the same material, the same monocrystalline cell type. Uh, looks like the same amount of bus bars. Uh, let me double check here. Yeah, it, it, looks, uh, it looks like the same, but it looks like they're also split. Oh, yeah, see, that could be a difference, too, guys. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, oh, no, wait, no, when you look close, yep, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine sections and nine sections. Okay, so that's the same. Okay, and then let's go back here to uh, the cell efficiency, which is the percentage of uh, light that it can transform into or convert into energy, usable energy, which is up to 23.4, and notice that this one is the same. And then you have the open circuit voltage. Now that is the most important thing. Notice that this says 25. Uh, tw I'm sorry, 26.5 on the S, and on the on the original one, it's 26.1. So you do have a little bit, not much, but a 0.4 um, of a volt higher on the S than you do on the original one. Unless the S is the original one. I believe the S is the new one. I'm not sure. Um, I just want to make a, a video with the differences. Um, we, we have this one, like I said, the, the 200. I, I call that the original. Uh, your uh, short circuit is 9.4 amps. Now, notice that this one is 10.3 amps. So, basically, when you do the math, it comes out to the same, about 200 watts. But they're a little different as far as that rating. And that could be as far as the material that they used or... Just the efficiency, the size, or, you know, it, it could be many variations. Uh, and then you get down to the general here. You have standard MC4 connector on both units, okay? And now this is this is a big difference now. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, but it is when you carry it. So the 200, uh, uh, the PB200 that we have is about 16.1 pounds each. So we have four of those, so that brings in roughly about 65 pounds to carry all four. That's heavy. Now, if you get the S versions, notice that they're 19.4, so they're much more robust. And I believe where the weight comes in is the difference of material that they use, but the legs also could add up possibly to, you know, half a pound to a pound more. Because if they're using a metal substance on there, which is uh, probably non-corrosive, non-rusting, uh, that you know, that's definitely going to add weight to the the material. Now, what's nice about these is having these little feet like this, the the the, the little uh, I, I don't know what to call them, aluminum or metal. Uh, I'm assuming they're the aluminum, but uh, what's uh, or stainless steel. What's really nice is um, see these little hooks uh, that go. They, they can kind of dig in the ground a little bit, and if you have an old um, like a, an old tent in the basement, you know, those little tent stakes that you hold a tent down with, and you could poke them in, in this thing right into the ground, and that also keeps the wind from blowing them over, or maybe a dog from bumping into or whatever, you know, the, the environment out there is crazy sometimes. All kinds of goofiness happens out there. Um, you know, like if, if you're using them on, uh, like, say, the deck of a boat or something, um, you know, you can use the grommets to kind of tie them down. So that's where this system would be a little bit stronger than this one. It all depends on the atmosphere and the environment that you use these on. That's that's the biggest thing. Okay, so uh, dimensions folded. Let's see where we live off here. Right here. Um, notice that this is um, uh, 89.2 inches long by 23.2 inches wide. Now remember, this is the PB200. And now this one is 98.7 inches by 24. So it's just a hair bigger, about one inch bigger, um, uh, long ways and width wise than the original panel. Okay, and then you have folded. Now this is important for when you store it here. Dimensions on the original one, the PB200, is 23.2 inches by 24.8 inches. Okay, and now on the S version, it's 24.2, see, just a little bit bigger, by 24. So just a little bit smaller that way. So 
Um, and then the, the thickness is very thin. It's under two inches for both. I don't know why this doesn't list it on here, but it, it's it's very thin. I'm looking at it. It's probably yep yeah, inch and inch seven, inch eight, something like that. Very very skinny panels, um, but a very good power output for these. I can't speak about these because I don't have them. But these we get very very good out, uh, power output with these. Uh, we have 800 watts a panel. That's four panel, and we can get you know 650 and up easy. So that's that's pretty decent. Uh, I think I think the most we got is like seven. I want to say like 725, 730, something like that, 740, somewhere in that area. I can't remember exactly what the number is. Um, all right, let's see. The operating temperature is 10 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit to 149, and then that's the same on the S version as well. Uh, let's see if I can get these up here matching a little bit better here. Okay. And then you have uh, the best working temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the reason that is is because it, it, the, the more a panel stays cooler, um, you know, like a car, it, ha it has a set temperature that it's designed to run in, and that way it gets uh, the most efficiency and the best use out of it. Now, notice that the, the S version is the same, so nothing changed there. Now, the cable length is 118 inches and also 118 inches on the S version. Uh, same certifications and then the same 12 month warranty. Now remember where I got these pictures from was for dire directly from Bluetti but we like to make w w what's called these cheat sheets and we put them on if I could show you this is our website here this has all kinds of promo codes and flash sales you gotta jump on these quick because they disappear very quick but if, if you go uh, either here you can search right so you can just type in blue eddy and it'll pop right up see right away here big blue and blue eddy so anything with the word blue in it it, it thins the herd a, a lot easier than digging through all these because we have about nine pages and we're going to have probably about a hundred in the next year there's going to be with nine so about 900 affiliates we're aiming for a thousand and that way we can really help people with a lot of codes for many different things whether it's you know solar powers or bikes e-bikes a lot of electronic stuff traveling all kinds of stuff hotels all kinds of stuff we want to really get uh uh, really di diverse into uh, everything just to help people out so on uh, page nine right now um, oh I got the blue in there already here we got to take that out so on, on page nine here's the blue Eddie one and um, you can go right to there and notice how it has all the flash sales all the links all the codes and everything and then it has this is the newest sale going on on the website but uh, towards the bottom past all of this no, look at the time we spent on this guys um, and this helps a lot of people. Man, it helps a lot of people. I wish somebody was around like this when we were buying stuff. Uh, and then here's the panels. That's all the stuff for sale. And then, uh, okay, so here's the cheat sheets under all that stuff. You can see how long this, this page is here, guys. So I do the power stations, or we do the power stations, and they, every single power station that Blue Eddy owns or sells that we found, we made a cheat sheet, so you can feel free to just right-click, save page as, and then or, uh, save picture as. You want to do uh, this one. Uh, save image as and that'll save this picture to your desktop remember these are free it's a hundred percent free if you want to donate to the page great if you want to use the links great but you don't have to these are a hundred percent free that we made to help our community out to, to like I said make sure that they don't make the mistakes that we did when we first learned this stuff and that way you can have these cheat sheets at, at the drop of a hat to go oh man he, you know Ramley Bob made this so simple for me to learn and so effective as far as well I know exactly how much voltage and how much power it can take in what size is the barrel, all kinds of crazy stuff is, is all listed on these little things. And if you go all the way down here, you can see how much work we put into this, guys. And this is just one company. We're going to do probably a thousand companies like this in the next year. Uh, that's our goal, anyway. We want to really get out there. Uh, and then the batteries. So what we do is we do power stations, then batteries, then we do solar panels. Now we're down to solar panels. And here's the PB200 where I got that picture from. And then here's the PB200S. And then after the solar panels, we do accessories. If we find any accessories that really stand out. Like we're not going to list all the accessories because this page would be like 9,000 pages long. So we're, you know, if we find something that's really exciting, like uh, Pecron had that new charger. It was like a step-up voltage charger. Uh, so we added it to that page. But then that's what we try to do. We uh, we try to make these pages as f user friendly as possible, so everybody can learn. Here, I'll show you real quick what I mean about the accessories. It would be uh, way in the bottom of Pecron's page here, and you go way. I mean, look, look at the amount of time I put into this, guys. This is it's it's crazy in itself. Okay, so notice that it goes from power stations, right? 
So power stations, batteries, uh, solar panels, and then into uh, accessories. And only if, the, like I said, the accessory stands out as far as a very unique thing or a very, very highlighted uh, product, then we'll put it on there. If it's something as simple as a, a cable or a wire, I don't know if we're going to do that yet. Um, but, you know, may, maybe you, you never know. Uh, we, we run out of time every day doing this. But, uh, guys, feel free to check this page out. We have links in the description. It goes to the uh, Buy Me Coffee page, which is the database. And... Um, uh, you know all, all the information the flash sales the promo codes everything everything's on there guys as you can see we're really st really staying busy with this and we want to help as many people as possible uh, i think this is what it looks like on the main page yeah so here's the, the this is the, the the main page here this kind of explains everything and these are all the supporters so thank you so much for the supporters of this guys and we really really like to help our community out and uh, we'll definitely see you guys again here on rambling bible views if you're not a subscriber get up there and subscribe it's free we'd love to have you as part of the subscriber family all right like and share guys bye